uh, we're looking at the C panel and how to control your web server via this control panel. Uh, this session we're going to be looking at domain management. So if we get to your C panel and scroll down, you have to log into that via your web host, and we're going to be looking down at this domain handling area. The main thing with your host, you can run a variety of domains on the same host in account. Uh, you don't necessarily need different hosting accounts for different domains. So one client uh, may have multiple domains which all go into different places uh, for different jobs. Or if you've got lots of different clients, you might want to have, make different accounts uh, for them. The first thing we need to do is look at if we want to add a domain uh, to your site, you just click on Add Domain. You need to have purchased this domain, and I would recommend purchasing it via your host because it keeps it all nice and centrally uh, managed. Uh, and what you do here, this allows you to add more domains to your uh, home directory uh, and possibly redirect them to the same site if you want. So if you've bought the .org and the .co.uk and the .de and the .me and all sorts of other different types of domains, you can configure them all in the same place. So once you've bought them, uh, you would just enter under the new domain what it is uh, you'd want to do. Uh, you can give it a subdomain. We'll have a look at subdomains in a minute. And you can put in an FTP username so people can uh, use FTP software to go in. And then you can put in a uh, folder for it uh, to go into. So that domain, when it goes to christopher.org, it will go to the .org account. And then it will go type in a password where you can just type in uh, various passwords and it will tell you how strong it is. It's actually the same as we've looked at uh, before. Uh, and there. Here I've got no add-on domains because I'm only using the one domain uh, name on this account. Uh, but you can add as many as you want. So we can add more domains. We can also have domains that we've got but we don't actually want to use yet. So we've purchased them and uh, then we just want to really sit on them until uh, a later date uh, when we want to use them. These are called park domains and this means that on your host you can just put a domain onto it and just sit on it and then decide what to do with it at a later date, especially when you bought multiple domains for the same name. And again, you need to have purchased it and then like the last one, you can just add in the domain that you want to uh, look at. And again, I haven't got any park domains on this account and you just add the domains for it. If I push add domain now it would just come up with an error message saying that it cannot find uh, that domain on this account. Uh, the other areas you can look at with domains are redirects. If we've got um, multiple domains we may want them all to go to the same home page. So if I've got chrislinford.org, chrislinford.uk or other uh, domains I could just write in uh, here what I want uh, it to be uh, so I just type in the domain there and then I can type in where do I want it to go to so then I would just put in uh, the main homepage address uh, to that point and every domain from that point will go to that same uh, homepage so no matter what domain they're entering from it will go from there so it's just basically redirecting one domain uh, to another domain's home page. So you don't have to make a different site for each domain name you have. You can share uh, the whole uh, sites. The most useful thing uh, is to have subdomains. So a subdomain is uh, a domain which comes with something before your main domain. So a subdomain, I'm going to make one called test. And so this URL uh, will be test.chrislinfordco.uk and I can use that just to uh, experiment with and uh, and I can just go uh, create uh, for that and then uh, it goes into subdomain creation and it looks like it's been created so that is now the URL uh, that I can uh, go to and it's just created some for me and so they just get added down the bottom. So now if I go to my main website, this is my uh, introductory page, my home page uh, if you like, which will then can redirect you to uh, various bits. I'm using quite a large screen here so you can see the icons quite big so you can't see the whole uh, page at this point. But if I put in change up here 
to be test, I will then find a blank page for me to go to. So I've got absolutely nothing on that subdomain yet, but it's actually allowing me to put things into there later on. When we do uploading uh, a web page to your site, I'll be using this test.crystalinfo.co.uk UK subdomain in which to push a basic web page on so you can see uh, where you're going. Uh, these don't have to be searchable, uh, you can keep these secret so no one knows what they are before it, or you can make them publicly available. Uh, for example, many people use subdomains for different countries uh, or for different parts uh, of their business. And that's really it for domain management, it's very simple. You can either just add new domains to your account or you can just add subdomains to it. Subdomains are really useful and I recommend that when you're choosing a host you always have one that allows you to make subdomains uh, for free. So if you need more information go to crystalinfo.co.uk or you can see me on YouTube or, or on iTunes and uh, you can always email me at chris, chris at crystalinfo.co.uk uh, for more information if you need it. Uh, we'll see you next time for some more information on cPanel.